welcome back. Well, just continuing from the previous video where I created this large calculator, I'll just, uh, this is running on uh, PyCharm, just remind you what it looked like. Uh, although I've changed the color of it here. I noticed there was an error as well with the degree and the radian, but I got it to fix that very easily. Um, that's when I changed the, the final thing. I, I got rid of one of the keys and it uh, it seemed to lose track of things, but uh, it fixed that very simply. And I correct that on the um, on the previous YouTube. I put the new listing in there and it works fine. So what I was going to say is this works fine, of course, in the environment. But uh, when, you, when you're running a calculator, you don't want to have to go into this environment every time and, and run it. Uh, so what if I want an executable, you know, like a, a program I buy or download from the internet? Something like this I did for the screen scraper. There's a screen scraper and uh, it kicks up something like this. It's got a nice background image and buttons on it and so on, or, or even something better than that. How do we create an executable? Uh, well, the first thing you need is an icon. These are all icons and the icons are formed from JPEG files or PNG files. So you're going to need uh, you're going to need a, a JPEG. And what I did was I just got uh, uh, artificial intelligence to create me one. Of course, I could have just stolen one off the web and from somewhere that sells calculators. It's just another way to do it. But I got it to create one for me. And uh, it, it looks kind of cool, but the keys, because it's DALI 3, uh, it, it kind of gets the text mixed up a little bit, as I seem to remember DALI. And uh, as, as well, there's one, there's one uh, version of um, the artwork, uh, AI artwork, that gets over that, I believe, recently. But they, they didn't know initially how to to solve this problem where the text gets a bit funny. But that's not going to matter because this is going to be very small. And even if it wasn't, it looks kind of cool anyway, because it's just going to be an icon. And uh, so what we, what we need to do, though, is convert this JPEG file to an icon file. And AI, unfortunately, doesn't do it. I tried to get it to do it, said it couldn't do it. So I ended up having to um, get a free web program to do it. And this one is as good as any. It's just called Ico Convert. You can use that. And you just choose your file and put it in there, and upload it, and then it's all a little delay and it'll produce your icon file. And it's got an extension .ico. I renamed it calculator.ico. There it is there. And uh, I, I can't click on it because it, oh, I can click on it. It comes into um, paint. But that's a, quite a small uh, image because it's only an icon. Now, now that I've got my icon of whatever image I prefer, uh, I'm going to use this uh, package which I install into the Py into my Python environment called AutoPy2EXE. Now, there are other ways to do this, but I found this is by far the easiest way to do it, save you a lot of trouble. The other ones are with command lines, and they leave the um, uh, the console that's still there. Then you've got to cancel the background console and so on. So this this does it all for you, and it's a graphical way of doing it. It's called uh, AutoPy to EXE, and it's version 2.5 here. There's the web addresses, web address, and you need to install it. Uh, to install it, uh, you need the pip command pip install autopy.exe so I need to go into in if I'm using this PyCharm it's going to be different in different environments but in PyCharm I need to go to the terminal which is the Python terminal here you can see this thing here and then type pip install autopy.exe and it's 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 already satisfied. It's already done it, so I don't need to do it again. Once it's installed, then it's just a matter of running it. So you just run this command auto pi to exe. So I'm going to paste that in auto pi dot exe, and it should boot up a window. And there it is. If you're not getting that, you've done something wrong. Now I need this 
program here, Maine, it's I just I should have renamed it, but it's just called Maine at the moment. And I'm going to uh, need the I'm not going to need the um, uh, the address of that the the uh, URL uh, not the URL the the um, directory of that. So I'm going to browse through to that, and it's on the desktop at the moment. I'm going to go to the PC C and it's under C users uh, OEM and in my particular case it's probably similar in your computer but some are slightly different and then it's under PyCharm projects uh, as far as I know yeah PyCharm projects and then it's the latest one which is PyCharm Python project 31 again I didn't rename it but there's the program main.py open that and there's the the directory uh, link uh, to it. C users OEM PyCharm projects, Python projects 31 slash main. Now, do I want the executable, uh, the software, to be in one directory or in one file? I'm going to put it in a directory, so that's the default. I just click on that. I don't want it console based. I want it Windows based. So I click on Windows based. I need my icon, so I created that already. I need to browse for that. That's on the desktop. So again, I've got to mess around. I've got to go to the desktop. There it is, calculator.ico. And it's got my icon. Now, these are for extra files. So if, you, if you're running, if you want a sp splash screen or you want something like this where you're, you're putting in images into your program, you're going to want to put in the uh, directory paths to those images. Uh, otherwise, it's going to crash out on you. And I've been through this with the other program. Uh, but in this particular case, I haven't got any images other than the icon itself, and it knows about that. So if you you need to give it as much information as possible if you're loading in extra files and things, whatever they happen to be. Otherwise, it's going to have a problem. And then you just click this. And I've already created it, so it's going to overwrite it, but that's OK. And once it's created, it'll tell me the directory of where it stuck it, which is... <laughs> I thought the last time I, I missed that, and it, it's easy to miss it if you scroll. Uh, but click on Open Output Folder, and uh, there it is. It's, it's under this thing called Output. Uh, I'll go to Python Project 31, and then it's under Output. So I'm going to copy the directory output to the desktop, uh, because I've done this before. And just get rid of that. Uh, now I'll just call this direct uh, this whole um, uh, folder uh, calculator. So I know what it is, and it shouldn't destroy any links or anything because it's, I think it's using relative links um, and envir environmental variables. I think that gets around it, but I'm not an expert on that click on that on the main thing and it's called main so I'm going to change that as well to calculator should have checked it first but it should be okay so I click on calculator and there it pops up directly from the executable but how do I get that onto my start menu that's the question so I think what we do is we pin to start. We go. We right click and then we pin to start. And that should appear. But when you look, you don't initially see it because it's right at the bottom, which is annoying. There it is. So I'm going to slide it up. Put it next to my other calculator. Oops. There it is. So there's my original calculator I did a year ago or so. And here's my new one. And that's it. It's done. It's as uh, simple as that, except um, probably I've done something wrong here because I've left the calculator uh, thing on the um, on the desktop and I don't want to keep it on the desktop. That's the, so I'm going to delete this, unpin from start, so I'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to store the, um, the calculator directory somewhere more kind of permanent. So see users um, 
OEM. I'll just stick it in there. Everything else seems to be in there. You don't seem to need permission. It just seems to... Let's just move it in there. Oh, there it is. So it's, it's stuck in there now. Now we'll go do the same thing as before. Go to the icon and then do pin to start. And that should that should do it. And again, put it at the bottom. So I'll stick it up here. You can pin it to the taskbar as well if you're using it a lot. We're not going to be using it that much. That's not you need to rearrange these uh, things. So there it is, calculator, and there's my calculator. And then it's uh, the job is done. So yes, you can create executables in Python, even though Python is an interpretive language. It uh, somehow they've managed to, to see, so you can get an executable. So I could distribute this as well. Uh, that folder I could uh, give it to somebody, and uh, they just it's got the icon in it. They just need to stick it somewhere and. Um, and then uh, create the um, uh, pin the uh, icon to the, um, the the start button here and get the icon themselves and all an installation program will do is exactly that it just takes the individual bits and sticks it in a directory somewhere um, where all the program normally where all the programs are held I mean it'd be under another directory but C users um, whatever uh, programs uh, and they've put them all in there, but I've stuck mine in in this uh, particular directory. But as long as it um, uh, it runs, it uh, doesn't really matter. So there it is. Thank you very much for watching this.